Hey guys, Patrick here with School of Fish. Really excited about this YouTube channel, uh, getting the chance to reach youth anglers who are excited about fishing or just getting started um, learning how to fish. Uh, I wanna do a lesson since most of you guys are fishing banks from a canal, a pond, or a lake. I wanna give you guys three tips um, that I think was, are gonna help you catch a little bit more fish um, and give you something to focus on while you're fishing. I want you to always remember that fishing isn't just you know, grabbing a lure, tying it on, and throwing it around. If you want to catch fish, if your goal is to catch a bunch of fish, which I hope it is, you always want to be a little bit more thoughtful about how you're fishing. So the first thing you want to pay attention to when you get to a new spot or even a spot you've been before, because that spot could change. I live in South Florida where the water can go up and down all the time because they're using it for flood management. So wait till you get to the spot to tie on the lure you think you're going to use for that day so just go with just line and don't tie anything on until you get there oftentimes you'll get to the spot you'll have a nice lure tied on a nice uh, popper or um, a crankbait or something and all of a sudden there'll be weeds everywhere and then you'll have to cut that off and tie something a little more weedless i'm going to do a video on uh, tying uh, getting you know those soft plastics and stuff and frogs and things like that that are weedless. Um, so step one, tip number one, don't tie anything on until you get to the spot you're gonna fish for that day, even if you fished that spot before. When you get there, assess the situation. If there's no weeds, if it looks like you're gonna be able to fish things freely, tie on your lure of choice. Step two, you wanna pay attention to the wind. Tip number two is the wind, because a lot of times what happens with the wind is it blows the little tiny minnows, the shad and the bait over to the direction that the wind's blowing. So for example, if I have a bank over here and the wind's coming from this direction, this is gonna be your wind-blown bank. That's what I call it, a wind-blown bank. So that means the wind is most likely gonna push more bait over towards this bank, and then you're gonna have more action on that bank. Um, so fish that wind-blown bank first, see if you get some action on there, and then, of course, don't leave other areas out, but start there so you can get that confidence up and maybe catch a fish or two on the windblown bank. Um, so don't tie anything on quite yet um, until you get to your spot. Look for the windblown bank. So the, and the third thing would be is if you're fishing a lake or a pond, you want to work those banks as much as you can and stay in the strike zone where the fish are going to most likely strike your lure. So if this is the bank... You're gonna to wanna to start off the bank, a little bit off the bank. I, I would say maybe 40, even almost 50 feet off the bank and go straight down the bank with your cast as far as you can. The farther you can cast and the little bit off the bank, you're gonna bring retrieve that bait down in a strike zone and stay in that strike zone. The reason I'm telling you to start off the bank is because most lakes and ponds are drudged out, they're dug out, and they'll have a bit of a drop. And what happens with those drops is the fish will nose up on the drops and be waiting for bait to come over those drops so that they can ambush that bait. And since a lot of times you can't see where that bank is kind of dropping off, you want to start off and then work that work your way in. So do a cast about 50 feet off, do a cast about 40, cast about 30. Don't just cast and leave and walk away. Don't do one cast in a spot. Bass a lot a lot of times will 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 eat baits when they're agitated. So hit that strike zone, hit that same spot many, many times, agitate that fish, um, especially if you're using something top water, those top water baits, a jig, anything like that, those are agitation baits, they're not reaction baits. So um, three tips again, a quick review. Wait to tie on whatever lure you think you're gonna use for that day till you get to your spot. Look for a windblown bank and then cast it down the bank area and then work your way towards the bank. You're gonna get a lot more fish if you follow those three things. Um, keep fishing those banks, get out and fish any day, every moment that you can. Keep fishing to learn and learning to fish. All right, thanks for tuning in to School of Fish. We'll see you guys later.